Hello, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. I just wanted to provide this uh, update about using uh, Google Sites for intranets, uh, knowledge bases, wikis, uh, team sites, anything like that, and just how to uh, utilize the latest features uh, from Google Sites. And particularly during this video, I'm going to talk about uh, this um, site that I built as a demonstration to show off um, some of the latest design features that uh, Google has implemented on the Google Sites platform. So just to, to start off the bat, you know, we got this update about Google Sites and the uh, width and the frame, page frame that can be implemented. This is a, a customized theme design that can, uh, is, a, is a design choice basically. And we can choose to build in uh, margins and these, uh, this page frame uh, onto the page to kind of uh, frame things in and to uh, give a different sort of, of look to your, your Google site. And there are some benefits uh, to taking this route. And I'll talk about that here really quick. So this demonstration uh, site, you can see I have uh, two, two additions that I've made. One is using the default site width. The other one is using the wide site width. So default wide. The only difference here is about uh, 120 pixels um, difference between uh, 1280 of this one and 1400 here. And what that means is I think it, it really has an impact on the navigation uh, and the logo for one thing because you'll see like say on this site here the logo in the top left and the navigation is kind of aligned right. So for some Google sites it was kind of um, a bit too much on the periphery whether you had the logo if it was a full full width site the logo would be like way over here on the left and kind of standing on its own the navigation would start all the way on the right and kind of you know start building to the left and so you know, some clients uh, didn't exactly uh, like that so I think framing it in does have a, a benefit of kind of bringing things closer together centralizing your your viewpoint and then uh, if we scroll down here to a, a content block that uses a an image background. So what makes this nice is you can kind of plan your images a little bit better knowing that it has a, a max width to it. You know, I'm choosing this image to work with, uh, you know, a 1400 pixel max width. So it gives you more freedom in, in choosing which pictures to use because, um, you know, when you have full site width and you're, you're expanding that out to full browser, uh, sometimes that image, you know, if it's not a panoramic, it really is like cutting things off all over the place. And so I think that's kind of a, a nice uh, thing is be more flexible in regards to these um, content blocks, blocks with uh, background images. Uh, in addition, we also got a design uh, change which is in regards to these buttons. So the buttons can now be uh, kind of cropped in just to the width of the, of the text that's here. Whereas before it was spanning like the whole content block. I'll show that off here just to show it off for a moment. So like this button here, I have it on aligning left. You can align the center or you can do this justify option, which is going to fill the whole, fill the whole block. It wasn't always um, ideal to have it that way. And that was the default before, but now we can kind of bring in the, the button a little bit more and not make it so... Um, uh, so that it matches the content block width. So that's kind of a nice uh, little feature as well. And just quickly to kind of show off, uh, you know, this is for desktop, obviously. This is the wide uh, site width option. So if we bring it into iPad, you know, the margins are gone. And uh, mobile, you know, same, same, same deal. So really just losing that, uh, the margins there when you bring it in uh, to different uh, screen sizes. And so this was a, you know, a mock-up that I did uh, based on building for a client uh, an intranet with, for you know, continuing education, professional development. And so I decided to test out these new Google Sites uh, features. I think created a really nice, uh, nice looking uh, template uh, for them. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really, uh, really clean, really put together and uh, look forward to, to working and developing this more on each of the other pages, which are just blank at the moment. So sorry, I don't have more to show off, but that's just, you know, a quick uh, preview of this uh, template and of using customized themes 
uh, in particular the spacing in regards to site width and showing the frame. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the color is just you know it's a block color for the background right now. Uh, no no gradients or, or images can be implemented there at the moment. So that's where we stand uh, with Google Sites design and uh, these new features. And uh, let me know. Uh, reach out to me if you have any uh, questions regarding Google Sites uh, support or need of uh, team sites, intranet sites. Uh, really love, love designing and uh, customizing these Google Sites. Uh, thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye.